Hey, what's going on guys? Jax the Bearded Hiker here. So in today's video, we're gonna be smoking up a pork rack. We're gonna be doing it on the pit barrel cooker. We're gonna start off with a coffee rub and then we're gonna wrap it in saran wrap, throw it in our fridge, let it hang out there for about 24 hours. And then tomorrow we're gonna smoke it on the pit barrel cooker and we're gonna finish it off with an espresso coffee barbecue sauce. It's gonna be good. All right, so we're gonna first start out and make our rub. Now I do wanna say, look in the description and you will find the ingredient list and the exact measurements in there. We're starting out with some brown sugar here that I have in this bowl. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add us in some sea salt, followed by some granulated garlic. We're going with some cumin. Uh, got some black pepper here. Throw in some uh, cinnamon. My personal favorite, cayenne pepper for a little heat. And we're going to throw in some instant espresso. And they're just going to give us a good mix here. All right, so we're uh, pretty well mixed up here. Now this obviously is a lot of rub here, so we're gonna have quite a bit left over. So I would pretty much say that this recipe is for bulk. So I'm just gonna transfer some here to my little shaker so we're nice and ready. Okay, and we'll have all that left over right there. Okay, so we have our pork loin rack here and I've removed the uh, membrane here and I went down because there was some meat in between these bones. I just did that. Yeah, we got a, left a little bit right here. I just did this to make it look basically uh, pretty because you know, that's how we roll here at thebeardedhiker.com. So let me go ahead and flip this so we can show you the other side here. All right, so I want you to just see this, this back side here. You can see there's still a few knuckles on here or bone shards. You want to make sure you just go ahead and get those off. You can run your hand and just kind of feel them. There's just a couple right here. The butcher missed. All right, that looks good. All right, so we got those little knuckles out and now we're gonna just start seasoning this joker. Okay, so we got this ready. And we're just gonna stick it in here in case we have any leakage. And we're gonna go put this in our refrigerator and we'll be ready to smoke this tomorrow morning. All right, so it's the next morning. We're about ready to get our pit barrel cooker fired up. Now what pit barrel cooker recommends is that you use Kingsford briquettes and load your charcoal basket up here to its level at the top and then remove a quarter of the briquettes, which ends up being about 40. Put them in your chimney starter inside the pit barrel cooker, light it up, and let it burn inside the pit barrel cooker for 12 minutes with the lid off. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're uh, nice and lit up there, so we're just gonna let that go for about 12 minutes, again, with the lid off. So as you can see, she looks a little bit different than the last time you saw her. I've trussed it up, and I've also put some aluminum foil around the tops of those bones. Now, both of those are optional. I'm just putting the butcher's twine on there just to help keep this shape that we have here. And then just to make it look aesthetically pleasing uh, to keep those bones white. Now what I'm gonna, and look guys, there's 50, 11 ways to cook one of these. I'm not a professional at this smoking and grilling stuff. Um, this is actually only my second time cooking one of these. And you can lay it on the grill like this, you can stand it up, you can make a crown out of it. There's several different ways, so again, choose your own method. All right, so what we're gonna, moving on, we're going to go ahead and insert a temperature probe into the center of this. So we're looking for a target temp of about 145 degrees. We'll probably have a look at it before then, maybe about 140 or so, and we'll sauce it with some of our espresso barbecue sauce. So we are gonna be putting a little bit of uh, wood on here. I would recommend just experimenting with the kind of wood that you want. I'm using cherry. Now let's go ahead and insert our grate here. And now if you were going to hang these, then you would keep this grate out. I'm not gonna be hanging these today. Um, I just find that the bones on that pork rack are a little short, so just a little bit worried that 
we might have it fall or something. I mean, again, I could be just being paranoid. Now, my intent is to stand this up like that. Actually, we'll turn it around so we can straddle straddle those uh, bars there. Go ahead and put in our bars. Now, when you're using the pit barrel cooker, you can't leave these out because it does help with the uh, temperature and whatnot. All right, let's put the lid on there and let it go. Now that that's on, let's go make our espresso barbecue sauce. Like most barbecue sauces, they all require ketchup. So that's what we're starting off uh, with here. Now I will leave the ingredient list or in the exact amounts in the description. So we're starting off with that ketchup. To that, we're going to add some soy sauce, some white vinegar, also some cider vinegar, garlic powder and onion powder, some brown sugar, our coffee or espresso, and then lastly, we're gonna be adding in some bacon grease. Now, I didn't have any bacon grease, but I do have, well, this is bacon grease, it's just in the jar. So, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add about two tablespoons of that. Now, you could use some drippings from a brisket or pork or something like that that would be even better all right so now let's go put give this a stir put this on the stove and get it melted up and thickened up i also added a pinch of cayenne a pinch of black pepper and just a squirt of honey so we've been going about an hour and 45 minutes. Whew. See, we're at 136 right now. Let's go ahead and give her a little bit of sauce here. She's looking delicious, that's for sure. All right, we just reached 140, 145. Take it off. All right, we're gonna take it inside and let it rest. Cover it uh, lightly. Cover it with some aluminum foil, and uh, let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes, and we'll show you what it looks like then. All right, so let's cut into this sucker. I'm gonna go ahead and take this little dealio, dealio off here first. All right, let's take this uh, chop here. Should have cut these pieces of twine off first. All right, All right let's cut us a chop. Let's move that out of the way. Wow. She's a juicy, look at this. All right, let's, uh, let's cut us a piece off here. Give her a try. First, let's give her a try without any barbecue sauce. She's still hot. Oh my goodness, that is juicy. All right, hang on. Mm. Wow, the barbecue sauce is good. That being said, she's good without the barbecue sauce. All right, guys, coffee rubbed, pork rack, 
finished off with a espresso barbecue sauce. Do it.